People living over in Sandy are relieved after police arrested 18 people they say are tied to a laundry list of crimes. They include meth, fentanyl distribution, forgery, and auto theft, just to name a few. Christian Cita, Life Force in Sandy tonight, and you talk to people who say they've noticed a problem in the city. Yeah, that's right, Heidi. A Sandy resident tells me she's noticed a spike in crime, and now I did reach out to police, but they didn't respond. But we do know police identified over 170 victims and say their work isn't done. I've noticed in the last couple of years that crime has started going up a lot more. Residents like Sarah Madsen worry about crime, like the recent investigation and arrests in Sandy. I have mucho respect for the police officers. There's a lot going on and they can't get to everything all the time. According to the Sandy police, a group of 18 people participated in crimes like mail theft, vehicle burglary, fraud, identity theft, distribution of meth and fentanyl and auto theft. And our neighbor had his truck stolen a couple months ago and yeah, we've had cars broken into it. Sandy police say their crime suppression unit ran the investigation from February 1st to the 15th. Still many questions remain. How are the 18 arrested people connected? How did they target their victims? And how many more victims do police think are out there? For now, my husband and I have lived here for 12 years and we've talked about moving, but we really like Sandy because it's close to the mountains, it's close to the freeway and we felt that it was a really safe place to raise kids, but now we're kind of veering off in another direction and talking about seriously moving because it's starting to get a little bit more scary. If we hear back from police, I'll share the answers to those questions. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.